do slugs and snails bite? If you've ever encountered a slug or snail in your garden or while out for a walk, you might have wondered, do these creatures bite? Let's take a closer look at how they feed and interact with their environment to find out. First, it's important to understand that slugs and snails are not equipped with the traditional biting mechanism that animals with jaws and teeth have. Instead, they use a specialized feeding structure called a radula. This radula is a ribbon-like organ covered in tiny, sharp teeth, or denticles, that they use to scrape and rasp on surfaces. When a snail or slug feeds, it extends its radula and scrapes it across the surface of the food, which is usually plant material like leaves, stems, and bark. This process is more like grating than biting, and it allows them to break down and consume their food efficiently. Now you might be thinking, but what if a snail crawls across my skin? While it's true that a snail can leave a slimy trail on your skin, this is not a bite. The mucus produced by snails can be slightly irritating to some people, causing redness or itching, but it's generally harmless. There are some species of snails, like the Spanish slug, that can produce defensive secretions when threatened. These secretions can irritate human skin, leading to redness, itching, or a burning sensation. However, this is not a bite, but rather a chemical reaction to the snail's defensive substances. So to answer the question directly, slugs and snails do not bite in the conventional sense. They do not have the capability to bite or chew like animals with jaws and teeth. Their feeding behavior is centered around scraping and rasping with their radula, and any irritation from their mucus or defensive secretions is not a result of biting. In summary, while slugs and snails can cause some minor irritation through their mucus or defensive secretions, they do not bite in the way we typically think of biting. They are generally harmless to humans and play an important role in their ecosystems by feeding on plant material.